like I will be homeless or I will have to go some to some other state. A major rise in rent has low income tenants in North Portland worried about keeping a roof over their heads. And that is our top story here at four o'clock. Dozens of people in North Portland are protesting a nearly 50% rent increase. It's their largest effort to get the city to change laws so that they don't become homeless. Blair Best joins us from the apartment building in North Portland. And Blair, let's be real here. Most folks can't afford to see their rent nearly double. Absolutely not, Brittany. Earlier today, Tenants and supporters lined the sidewalk here outside the Prescott apartment building, all in protest of this nearly 50% rent increase. Now they're asking the property management to lower that to 5%, but they're running out of time. Take a look. Remove the Prescott rent increase. The fight for housing continues for low income tenants at the Prescott apartments in North Portland. So my rent is almost doubling. Kelsey Schreiner is one of the tenants. She's been living at the Prescott for nine years. Her rent has been raised twice. The latest increase, $403. That's a 43% jump. I've got a four year old daughter and I'm in school full time for psychology and I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to cover that. She says there's no way she can afford to live here anymore. It's like when, when your chest just feels like it's going to like collapse and you're like, you have no stability. That's what it feels like. My rent increase was a total of $250. An amount that sent tenant Sheila Cicchini into immediate panic. Uh, because essentially that was going to make my rent the entirety of one of my paychecks. I already live paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> Portland limits rent increases for affordable housing to 5%. But through a program called the Multiple Unit Limited Tax Exemption, or MULTI, buildings less than 15 years old, like the Prescott, are exempt from that limit for 10 years. The whole point of building new housing is to try and get people off the streets. So if that new housing to those low income people is exempt from the rent caps that's supposed to be helping keep people off streets, you've defeated the whole purpose. In this letter to tenants, Green City's property manager Management, an investment company that recently bought the building, says the increase is justified because residents' rent has not been raised for several years, resulting in the rental rate being below multi-limits. They've offered to pay the increase through the end of January and gave tenants who wanted it money to move. Schreiner got $4,200. Oh, it's not enough. Is that enough money to move anywhere in Portland? KGW reached out to Green Cities but hasn't heard back yet. Meanwhile, these tenants formed a union and are turning to the city for help. If nothing gets done in time, they're asking for their rent to be subsidized by the city. People have moved out of homelessness into the Prescott and into these other multi-units. That should be a success. It is not a success if those same people get pushed back out of their housing into tents. The fear of becoming homeless now top of mind for many of these tenants. This type of rent increase, it's it's not a new lease. It's an eviction without being an eviction. If I have to move, I can't move anywhere else in the city. It's like I will be homeless or I will have to go some to some other state. We're gearing up for a fight that we're not going to stop until we win. Well, you just heard it. They're not backing down anytime soon. They've even got a petition going with about 300 signatures that they plan to send to Housing Commissioner Dan Ryan. Now, speaking of Commissioner Ryan, we reached out to him for comment, but haven't heard back yet. Brittany. All right, Blair, thank you so much.